Hi guys, this is Warhawk Defense. I'm set after the story about the sinking of the Russian patrol ship Sergei Kotov in occupied Crimea. We now have footage from other Russian ship Kaiser Kunikov, which was also sunk before. The video is really intense, showing the combat that the Russian crew endured while trying to defend the ship from Ukrainian drones. Now we know they didn't succeed. The story of how the destruction of the Russian large landing ship, Caesar Kunikov, looked on the night of February 14th from the words of the Russian crew. The crew of the large landing ship repelled the attack of the Ukrainian naval kamikaze drones with all available forces and means. The battle lasted 20 minutes. Four out of 10 naval drones were destroyed. The fifth drone hit the large landing ship Cesar Kunikov in the stern, thereby immobilizing the ship, after which drones 6, 7, 8 and 9 hit the ship in turn on the left side in the area of the middle and closer to the stern, with the aim of overturning of the ship from the influx of a large amount of water from one side. The ninth drone partially entered the hole made by the previous drone and detonated practically inside. The ship could no longer be saved. The roll was rapidly increasing. The ship was lying on the port side. A little more than 40 minutes passed from the moment the enemy drones were detected and the battle began until the ship was completely submerged. The crew left the ship with the help of life rafts, without loss of personnel, evacuated all secret documentation and part of secret equipment with weapons. The last 10th drone monitored the dead ship until it sank after which the 10th drone tried to attack the accompanying tug, but was destroyed by the PDSS group on board. And this from St. Javelin is really funny. Russian warships just mysteriously disappear here. The sinking of the ship Sergei Kotov is actually more significant than it seems. This is the third attempt by naval drones to attack the ship. The previous two were unsuccessful. This was the newest ship launched in 2021, commissioned in July 2022. It was designed specifically to combat maritime drones, but any new equipment produced by Russia never meets the stated criteria. And during its construction, more budget was stolen than invested. It proved its effectiveness in battle by turning into a submarine. There are voices of Russians on the internet that it is time to withdraw the Black Sea fleet from the Black Sea. Ukraine is most likely clearing the way for itself to attack the Crimean bridge because it is this bridge that these ships are guarding. Russia has nothing to fight against sea drones, which can cause more damage to the bridge than missiles because they carry a larger charge. Ukraine sinks a Russian warship, showcasing military strategy. Meanwhile, in Russia, Putin takes a strategic deep dive into tomato quality. Priorities? Interesting info from a Russian military instructor who covered the defeat of at least two Russian assault groups in Berdichi that assaulted without artillery support. 
He says the majority of Russian FPVs won't even take off due to own electronic warfare efforts, rendering assault groups defenseless against Ukrainian fire. Following on from the two previous posts about problematic issues using examples of the situation in Berdichi, I received a message from a friend working on the ground right at the Avdivka area, describing another important point that passed me by. I voice it in text. There is another problem here. There is a total lack of interaction between Russian FPV groups and electronic warfare units. According to the situation in the Avdevka direction, approximately 30% of the birds reach the strike zone. The rest fall immediately after Lastochkin or even during takeoff. They are suppressed by our own electronic warfare. The guys are screaming, swearing, but they can't do anything. Using personal contacts we look for who and where turns on the electronic warfare, we ask you to turn it off before work. That is, if we can find them. Otherwise, it's complete fuck-up, Jepis Detzel. The issue of creating a coordination center for UAVs and electronic warfare, at least on a scale of a core, is long overdue. But no shit. Things are still there. And our birds continue to fall on takeoff when the boys on the assault need fire support like air. It was a cry from the soul. In Shaganar, Tuvan People's Republic, in Russia, there was an explosion at the thermal power plant after which the whole city was left without heating. 18 people were hospitalized, nine are in a moderate condition, six are in a serious condition, and three more people are being sought. One of the largest plants producing raw iron ore materials in Russia, in Zheleznogorsk, Kursk Oblast, was attacked by unidentified flying objects. Reportedly, the drone struck right into the fuel tank on the territory of the plant. The facility is sanctioned by the US and the UK as it's linked to oligarch Alisher Usmanov. Unusually powerful Ukrainian FPV collapses a building with two enemy footmen inside. Thanks for watching guys, stay with Warhawk Defense, comment, like, subscribe, become our member and stay strong. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.